thanks so much for tuning into the Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. It is finally about that time. Thursday night is the kickoff of the NFL Draft. Players have been working out and trying to prove their worth in order to be taken as high as they possibly can in this draft. And yes, the higher you go, the better. Here is a look at a chart taken from the 2014 NFL Draft and shows just how much millions of dollars you can possibly lose out on if you are not picked in the top 10 picks. Huge dramatic drop here if you can't tell. Not only obviously in contract money, but in guaranteed money as well. Now sometimes not being picked high can be a blessing in disguise. Some of the league's greatest players were picked late. Tom Brady was taken in the sixth round and Romo went undrafted. The top three picks are the Cleveland Browns, San Francisco 49ers, and the Chicago Bears. All could use a quarterback, but between you and me, I don't think a quarterback is going anywhere near the top 10. Deshaun Watson could make an argument as probably one of the most experienced QBs in the draft. The Clemson Tiger had played in the national championship game twice during his college stint and is now heading out undercover with DraftKings as a reporter to see just what people have to say. How you feel about him? I don't think he's worthy of the first rounder. You know, I, I question his arm strength and you know his ability to throw on the run. Um. And they didn't stop there. There were some team Deshaun's. Why is Deshaun Watson? Oh, he's nasty. I mean, uh, he's proven it in his entire college career. He's just got to drive, and that's the type of player I feel like we need to build a franchise by. The best part of this is when people found out who the reporter actually was. You know, this is Deshaun Watson from DraftKings. Get back to you soon. What? Coming at you with Deshaun Watson. Let's What's go, up, baby. So I'm Deshaun Watson. Check it uh, out. <laughs> oh, that is too Thank cute. <laughs> uh, well, that is so classic. It looks like Deshaun's never going to have to go through people not knowing who he is anymore. Who do you guys think is going to go number one overall in the draft? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you click subscribe before you go.